Hi, this is Gary DeBach in Puyallup, Washington, USA, and I'm going to be giving a demonstration of the 5 inch medium wave ferrite sleeve loop antenna. Now this is, as you can see, a fairly small model. It's composed of 45 of the 140 by 8 millimeter ferrite rods, and it contains a variable tuning capacitor, a 381 picofarad model. And it also has uh, 660 slash 46 litz wire, 26 total turns. And I did write a full construction article with Heathkit-like assembly instructions on this particular FSL antenna. And I'll be happy to post the link for those who would like to make one of these uh, high-performing antennas. Anyway, to demonstrate the effectiveness of the model, I'm going to be showing you its performance and receiving a Daytime DX French station. Uh, the station that I'll be receiving is 1070 CFAX, which is a station in Victoria, British Columbia, located about 99 miles to the northwest. So I'm going to be uh, checking out my signal, first of all, on the barefoot ICF 2010 model, and you'll see I have no LED indications. Let me get uh, back here. You can see that I have a signal pretty much at the noise level. I can't really make out any words that they're saying, but I do have something here basically about one LED or no LEDs. I'm going to be bringing it up closer to the uh, 5 inch medium wave FSL and you can see the dramatic effect as I get closer to the antenna. Okay, as you can see right now, when I got up close to the FSL antenna, I now have eight LEDs on the barefoot ICF 2010. My inductive coupling distance right now is about two inches, and I have a booming signal of CFAX. And uh, we have a pre-game show for the British Columbia Lions. Uh, I'm going to, first of all, show you the dramatic difference of moving the radio a little bit in and out. Right now when I move about 12 inches back from the FSL, I lose all LEDs. And I'm pretty close to the noise level. I move 12 inches toward it. Back up to uh, eight solid LEDs. I'm going to be tuning, and you can see the dramatic effect when I tune slightly off frequency on the FSL. Okay, back up to 8 FSLs. I'm back on frequency now. I'm going to be slowly taking the radio away from the 5 inch FSL and we'll see the effect. I am back to the noise level. Just above the noise level. Right now, I'm about 8 feet away from the FSL antenna. So anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of the 5-inch FSL model. As I uh, mentioned before, there is a full construction article on this antenna with very simple heat kit-like building instructions for those who are interested. And I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration and have a nice day.